Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. Today I'm reviewing an air mattress that I've been testing out for three years now. This is a very interesting product. It's a good product. This is so good, in fact, that I have one and Susie has one as well. Originally, this was sent to me by a viewer, and since I received it three years ago, I've been using it in the back of my truck. After going out on a handful of trips, I discovered why the viewer liked this product so much. It's incredibly inexpensive, it's incredibly comfortable, and it's tough. Like, really, really tough, folks. This was so comfortable, in fact, that I got one for Susie, and like I said, we've been using these for over three years now. With all of that being said, this is the Winslow Outdoors 4-inch Never Flat Air Mattress. For a four inch thick mattress, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit large. With that being said though, I think the size is pretty impressive for how big this is. I personally haven't heard of this company before, so I looked them up. The history is very interesting. Going back to 1866, a young Herman Wenzel was on a boat headed for the US. He was 16 years old. He became interested in the sails on the boat itself. And once he got to the United States, got settled, he started a tent and awning business for covered wagons. As it stands today, Wenzel is owned by a conglomerate, the same company that owns Kelty, Sierra Designs, and so on. Anyways, my friends, enough talk. Let's go ahead and set this up. Let me show you all the Wenzel 4-inch Never Flat mattress. If you purchase one of these mats, this is what you're going to receive. The mattress itself, you're going to receive a storage bag, which is super small. That's why you don't see it. I got rid of it. And I believe you receive a repair kit. This is the top of the air mattress, and as you can see, you have this sort of, I'm going to say it's like a Native American design. That's what it appears to be to me. I could be incorrect about that. This is the top. This is the bottom. With the bottom side of the pad, you can see that the color is different. Up in the corner, you have the inflation and deflation valve. With the valve here, you have a cap over the top and you have a stopper on the inside. You also have this tab here if you wanna hold that stopper open. That's used for deflation. Already, you could see the size of this mattress. It's big, and again, it's four inches thick. To inflate this via breath takes an insane amount of time. I did it one time. I vowed never to do it again unless I had to. Luckily, I haven't had to. To inflate this, I use an air compressor. This is something that I keep inside of my vehicle just in case of emergencies for tire pressure and so on. Luckily, it could also be used to inflate mattresses like this. This is from Dewalt, and it's a fantastic product. And I can easily recommend this product to you all. It's a great idea to keep something like this inside of your vehicle just in case of emergencies. With this Dewalt compressor, it comes with this hose attachment, and it works perfectly for this valve. Turn it on, blow air, start. This, my friends, is the Wenzel Air Mattress. Four inches thick. Again, this is the bottom. Once you have it inflated, you flip it over, and this is the side that you sleep on. With this air mattress, it is 74 and a half inches long, 27 and a half inches wide, and it's four inches thick. When it's packed up, it's roughly 12 inches by six inches. It has a weight capacity of 500 pounds, and the weight of this is three and a half pounds. At the time of filming, this mattress costs $25 on Amazon, and the retail price looks to be around 40 bucks. Wenzel claims this is the most durable air mattress out on the market today. Is that claim accurate? I have no idea. But I can tell you, this is super, super strong. I've had this one in the back of my truck for three years, and the back of my truck is rhino lined. It's very, very rough. Using this pad over the course of three years, I've never had a single issue, a single puncture, a single leak. It is, without a doubt, very tough. The company says the design on top is a khaki geo pattern, and it features the never flat fabric technology. What this is, I really have no idea. The company doesn't state anything further. They do go on to state what the materials are, and basically it's a polyester laminate and the overall structure for this mattress runs horizontally not vertically and that creates a more comfortable experience especially if you're a side sleeper and i tell you what everyone before we begin going over the pros and cons concerning this mattress let me tell you all a little bit about how i've used this mattress over the last three years not only have i used this mattress in the back of my tundra but also in my wife's van 
we've taken these mattresses across the country. And I can tell you this, it's perfect for car camping, truck camping, RV. You can use it inside of your tent as long as it's a car camping sort of situation. This mattress is way too heavy, way too big to go backpacking with it. But we've used these in Colorado, New Mexico, here in North Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee, so on and so forth. Basically, it's seen action all the way across the country and back. And with that being said, let's go over the pros and cons, starting with the pros. So pro number one, this mattress is incredibly comfortable. It's wide, it's long, it's thick. You could sleep on your back, on your side, on your stomach. You never touch the ground with this mattress. This translates to a level of comfort. You can also dial in how firm and how soft you want it. It's comfortable as far as cushion goes. And I would say that the overall material is comfortable enough, but I would recommend putting a sheet over it. Like, it's comfortable enough, but it's definitely not the most comfortable material out there. A sheet or a blanket over the top makes a big difference. Next, everyone, the weight capacity for this mattress is very impressive. 500 pounds. Again, I've had no issues when it comes to the construction, no leaks, nothing like that. I've already spoken about how durable it is, and without a doubt, very strong. Next, the price on these mattresses is unbelievable. $25 for this, in my opinion, is a fantastic deal. The last pro that I have for this is size. Again, it's wide, it's long, it's thick. While other companies are making smaller and smaller products to save money, this is of a very impressive size and the price is low. That takes us over to the cons that I have for this product. And the first con is this. To inflate this is a little bit of a chore. I highly, highly, highly recommend some sort of air pump. You can use a compressor like I did, but to inflate this via breath takes an insane amount of time. You are likely to pass out or maybe even die before inflating this via breath. Yes, I'm being a little bit overdramatic. Continuing to talk about inflation, the inflation valve is of an odd size. I have not been able to find anything that fits it perfectly. Next, everyone, I've mentioned that there's a tab on the inside of the valve that prevents the flap from closing so you can deflate the mattress. The thing is this, it really doesn't work that well. So oftentimes when you're rolling this up, you're getting all of the air out of it, it will close. So you have to go back over, push it in, It'll deflate some and then close. It's kind of a pain in the ass, to use to be honest. It slows you down and there's really nothing you can do about it. The next con that I have for this mattress is the fact that it offers no R value at all. This is a warm weather mattress and that's it. If you're going to use this in cool to cold conditions, you will feel cold air underneath you. It does absolutely nothing to prevent cold air from coming through. It reflects back no body heat at all. So if you're looking for a cold weather mattress, this is not it. And those, my friends, are the pros and cons that I have for the Winslow mattress. In the end, I really, really like this product. The quality is great. The comfort is great. The price is amazing. The size is good. There's really nothing to complain about here, really. All of the complaints that I mentioned are rather minor. In the end, this is a fantastic product, and I'm very thankful to the viewer who initially sent me this. I've never heard of this company before. I have no idea what other products they make, but I can tell you this. This is an excellent air mattress. Even after three years of use, it continues to go strong, and I doubt it's going to have any sort of problems anytime soon. It really is a great product. And with that being said, folks, I am done. Make sure to sound off in the comment section down below. Share your thoughts. What do you all think about this mattress? Is it worth $25? 25 bucks, that's amazing. Is it truly a never flat product? I have no idea. Again, the company really doesn't explain what that means or what that technology is. So I don't know, it can't be too good if they give you a repair kit, you know what I mean? That's kind of funny. Never flat, but here's a repair kit just in case. <laughs> Gosh, you gotta love marketing, right? Just gotta love it. For this review, I am done. Until next time, everyone take care, be well. Oh, by the way, hit the thumbs up before you go. It helps the channel. Strength and honor, folks. Bye for now.